Hello guys, this is Julian. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about Windows Sandbox, which in this video, I'm going to be telling you what it is, how to enable it, and I'm going to do some testing. So pretty much Windows Sandbox is just an environment where you can run any EXE file or any type of file without harming your actual computer, which this was introduced in a later Insider build, which is build 18305. So as long as you have build 18305 or later, you can do this, which is really cool. And the only downside is you have to have Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Enterprise in order to use this feature. So if you're on Windows 10 Home, sorry, this is not going to work. So that's the only disappointing thing. But since I have Windows 10 Insider on my computer, which is kind of buggy because I just got a blue screen in the middle of recording, which is just great. And the time before that, my recorder messed up because I had the wrong resolution set. So this is like the third time recording this video today. So hopefully we can get this right. But pretty much I have some files I'm going to be testing in it. And I have a VM testing folder. Now not all these files are bad. I actually don't know which ones are good and which ones are bad. Some of them are good, some of them are not. Some of them are really shady and suspicious. And I also have some ISOs mounted with some older files that I have that could be malicious. So I'm not going to test every single file because I have way too many, but I'm going to test some of them and see what they do. So pretty much, um, I actually did a, I, I actually did show how to enable it, but it may be kind of a weird video because the resolution, but I'll show you here and then I'll show that video after. So pretty much, oh, what is that? Flight major. Okay. I don't, I don't know what that's talking about. Okay. I, I guess it's saying I flighted seven 19H1 builds. Isn't that nice? Well, I always update, so that's probably why. Um, so pretty much to enable it, you go to your control panel, you go to programs, you go to programs and features, and then you go to turn Windows features on or off. And in here, you will scroll down and you'll find Windows Sandbox. And that's how you enable it, which I'll show you that video of me actually enabling it, even though the resolution's messed up right about now. Let's go to control panel, let's go to programs. And then when you go to your programs, you go to turn Windows features on or off. And when you're in here, you're going to scroll down and you're going to find Windows Sandbox. And you're going to, to check the box and you're going to click OK. And it's going to start downloading the sandbox or whatever. Now I'm going to have to restart in order for this to take effect. So I will be right back. OK, you guys just saw. Um, and the thing about this too is that it does have some requirements to do this. So you have to have Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise Insider build 18305 or later, but I'm on 18312, so I'm fine. Um, 64-bit. Now it doesn't have to be AMD. It says AMD, but that's just because AMD invented 64-bit, I believe, which I was told that. I'm pretty sure that's true. Um, so it does because my system's an Intel system and I can use Windows Sandbox, but it's obviously 64-bit. You must have virtualization enabled in the BIOS. Now for my computer, since I have an HP, the um, BIOS key is F10 to get in the BIOS. Um, other manufacturers may be different. You may want to look it up for your manufacturer to make sure that you get the right BIOS key. It could be F2, which is a common key, um, and it allows you to get into the BIOS and then you can enable virtualization. You must have at least four gigs of RAM. It recommends eight, which I have 12 gigs, so I'm completely fine. It requires at least one gig of free, free disk space. It recommends an SSD, which I have an SSD. I think they're actually really good and they make your computer way faster. So if you have a hard drive, upgrading to an SSD would be a good option. Um, at least two, two CPU cores. It recommends four cores with hyperthreading, which I don't even know. I think I have that. I'm not entirely sure, but um, pretty sure. But I'm pretty sure like it'll work with most computers. I mean, this is just to make it. The recommended just means it'll run faster and better. But as long as you have the bare minimum requirements, it will work. But it probably won't be as fast. So the 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 um the sandbox is pretty fast for me, but that's probably because I have a good computer. So it just tells you how to do it. You have to install the Insider build, which to get Insider builds on your computer, which I don't recommend doing this on your main like I am because it is buggy and you will have glitches. As long as you're fine with glitches and you also keep it up to date because Insider builds do expire. So you want to stay up to date to be secure and so you don't go behind too much to where your build will expire. But if you want to enable Insider builds, you go to settings, you go to update and security. 
and then you go to Windows Insider Program right here. And I'm not going to click it because it'll show my email, but um, then there'll be a get started button up here and then you'll click it and then you just go through the process. I did active development fast um, to get the latest Insider build because I don't know if Slow has the build yet for um, Sandbox. I'm not entirely sure what the latest Slow Ring build is at the moment. You may want to look it up and as long as it's 18305 or later then you can do Slow, but um, I would be sure to do some Googling because that may not be the latest for the Slow low ring right now. So that's how you get Insider. And um, you enable virtualization in the BIOS, you enable the feature, I already showed you, it looks like this. And then I'll show you how the sandbox works. Now I'm afraid my computer may be SOD when opening sandbox again. It never did that before, it only did that once. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to stop the video so I don't lose the entire thing of me talking about sandbox and then I'll start the video again. Alright, if you guys are seeing this video, that means my computer did not be SOD in the middle of opening sandbox this time, so thank god. Um, if it does, I'm gonna have to do some repairing, because I actually looked up the BSOD and there is a way, I think, to fix it. But I think it was just a glitch, because I opened sandbox a million times and never had that happen. So, just keep in mind, you may get a blue screen when opening it. Um, so, I have open shell installed, so my start menu looks different, but I'm going to go to the Windows start menu because that's what you guys are all familiar with. Um, you can scroll down all the way, and then you'll see Windows Sandbox. Now, when you enable the feature and you restart your computer, because it will have you restart, it will say like working on features or working on updates or both. I saw both, and it rebooted even another time, so I guess that's just how it works. But, um, let's open Sandbox. Hopefully no blue screen happens. You'll get a UAC, click yes. Please don't blue screen. Um, it's opening. Hopefully we don't get a blue screen. I, uh, and we're not. Good. It's actually opening. So, we're going to be doing some testing in our sandbox. So, here's our sandbox. It's way quicker than having to make a virtual machine in my opinion. So, it's really, it's really good. Let's make sure we're still recording. Yeah, it's really good to make a sandbox because then you don't have to worry about, um, you know, virtual machines and all that nonsense. And then I just do that. You, if you make this, it can make it full screen if you click this. Um, and you can see, it, it uses Hyper-V, as you can see. And it even said when I looked, which, let's actually look at the properties of this. Let's go to System. Now, it won't be activated because obviously it's like a VM. This name, I think, changes every single time. Um, it uses 3.90 gigs of RAM, 64-bit um, obviously, and the reason why I think it requires Pro, because it's using Pro right now, is in order to use Hyper-V, you have to have Pro or Enterprise, so because Sandbox is based off Hyper-V, I'm guessing that's the reason why it requires you to have Pro or Enterprise, because of that reason. Um, when I go to the File Explorer, I noticed that the, the the hard drive it gives it is 40 gigs, basically 40 gigs, and it's its own environment, it's got its own stuff, its own files, um, and there's nothing here obviously because it's, it's a sandbox, and every time you close and reopen it, it will be a new sandbox, so anything you did in here would not be saved. Um, you can even open Edge, you can browse the internet, you can copy files, you can do all kinds of stuff on here. Let's just make it smaller and just drag it up there so it fits the screen so that way I can copy files, which I will show you how to copy files. So we're going to go in our VM testing folder and let's just copy this first file. So you right click, you click copy, you right click inside the sandbox and you click paste and then it copies the file. Now you notice it doesn't have the admin thing there, but on this it does, because this VM, believe it or not, that it makes, because it's basically a VM, but it's way quicker than a VM, it automatically does admin for every file you run, and I noticed that as I was going through running the files, I noticed they were running as admin because certain commands that only work as administrator were actually working. Even batch files that had commands that required admin would even work, so obviously it runs them all as admin, and I believe that, I don't know for, for certain if Windows Defender is disabled in the VM, I disabled it on my main for the moment because I was um, having these mounted ISOs with viruses and I don't think it's going to do anything, but I'm not sure. But if I go to Windows Security, I feel like it's either disabled 
or one of the files disabled it. So if I go here, it actually doesn't even have Defender. It's just, there is no Defender in this VM, basically. Um, it's, it's called Windows Security now, but there's no real-time protection or anything, so I'm guessing that it doesn't even have an antivirus in here. It, it doesn't even show a check or anything like mine does. So I'm guessing that it has no antivirus. It runs every file you run in it as admin, no matter what. So that way it shows you what they do. So it may cause more damage to the sandbox than in my actual computer because if I run a bat as non-admin, it doesn't do as much damage. But this runs every single file as an admin. So, kind of interesting. No UACs in, th in this. So let's run this file. And look, it says turn on virus protection. And oh no, what just happened? And it said that before I ran it, so obviously this VM has no virus protection. The sandbox is no AV completely. Um, you can see it just went black. The Windows 10 Insider thing went away. It just says the validation copy build blah blah blah. Um, if I open start menu, it looks kind of weird. You notice actually it's really stripped down. You don't get all those like built-in apps. Um, if I try to open a file explorer, nothing happens. Try to open edge, nothing happens. This VM is just completely messed up. Well, I should say sandbox, but then again the sandbox kind of is a VM. And it's really easy for running files, and it's built in, so you know you don't need to download another application to have a sandbox because they don't e they don't even work exactly like this. They're they work differently. They don't even have a full Windows environment, I don't think. So let's try to restart, which it doesn't do anything. This file just completely makes it unusable. Um, so you could just close the sandbox. It'll say, are you sure you want to close the sandbox? Once it's closed, all of it will be discarded and permanently lost. So pretty much that means once you close the sandbox, it that sandbox is gone. So I'm just going to reopen sandbox again. And we're going to run some more files in the sandbox. Now I'm going to try to speed the process up because I don't want this video to be super duper 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 long. But I want to run a ton of files in it. So then it makes a new one, and here's our new one, because our other file is not here anymore. So we are going to run some more files. Let's run a.exe. Oh, I hope I didn't almost I hope I didn't run that on my computer. I don't think I did. Because I don't know what these files do. I mean, for all I know, they may not do any damage. Now I don't know what that said, but it just flashed a CMD. That can't be good. If I run it again. I just saw it flash again, and this time the text actually looked different than what it did the first time. That's interesting. So, oh, that, that, I saw something there. Um, that, that looked different also, so maybe it does different results. Um, fakefcu.exe, which is the Windows 10 Fall Creators update, which is an older version of Windows 10, but you could tell this file is definitely not the real one. So you wouldn't be wanting to run this on your main system. It's very suspicious. And again, nothing happens. Those two files don't even seem to do anything. Like, at least nothing super noticeable, if anything. Which you gotta be very careful because if any of these files are rats, I don't know if there's a VPN on this, or I don't know if it connects to your same home network. So you may want to be careful, and if you want to run a certain file, you may want to disconnect your entire computer from the internet so the VM can't connect, or so the sandbox can't connect, just to be on the safe side. So this says FCU for Julia. I don't believe it actually is, but let's find out. It said Windows. Oh wow, it's a Windows 10 setup, but is this even a real setup? That's even a better question. Oh, it says to download the latest version of the tool. So I guess it is a legit one, it's just an older one, probably FCU, or maybe even older than that, I'm not even sure. But that didn't cause any damage. FCU.exe. Let's run that. <laughs> Windows technical preview, we ran into an installation error. <laughs> is that actually a technical preview setup? That's really funny if it was. It might be. Interesting. I mean, it says Microsoft Corporation, so very well could be. That that's that's very interesting. File.exe. This sounds not too good. Let's run this. Nothing. Hello. 
Oh, it's talking. Want to hear some computer jokes? Oh boy. Well, I'll tell I you. I know some. what this is. Okay. Why is there no Windows 9? Because 789. Because 789. <laughs> I knew it. Do you like my jokes? It even has audio. Well, I'll tell you another. Why did the poor computer blue screen at start up? Because it got its BCD deleted. Uh-oh. Wait. I think I just accidentally deleted your BCD. Rip. Well, rip. Anyways, Doesn't matter. It's a VN. Let's hear more jokes. Why was the computer cold? Because it left its windows open. Haha, ha, lol, this is great. Let's check our task manager. Let's hear more. What does the hard drive activity light look like during a silent RD? It lights up like a Christmas tree. Rip. Oh, wait. You may want to check your hard drive activity light. It's not like I just silent RD at you or anything. Oops. While this is running? If it is lit, I am sorry. I guess I'm Let's not check good at telling jokes properties. without accidentally doing them. I'm done with telling jokes. Rip. Maybe next time. Also, don't worry. Your computer will be just fine. Maybe I did nothing at all. Hope you have a nice day, and your computer too. I'll be back for jokes later. Oh no. It definitely deleted some files. This is really interesting, it's not even taking up a lot of space. Maybe it looks like Windows, but it's not a full installation. That is very interesting. Because this is 37 gigs, 3 of 39. That means it's only 2 gigabytes. Unless the Silent RD deleted a lot of stuff. Whoa, that's actually really interesting. And it doesn't have the Windows logo, so I guess it's not a complete installation of Windows. It's just a partial installation. And oh no. I think it froze. I believe this happened last time. Um... And all we have is file on the desktop. Yeah, this is dead. This is very messed up. You could tell our sandbox is pretty much dead. Oh, can't find that item. So pretty much, how do you fix it? You just simply close it and get rid of it. And you make a new one. I mean, the benefit is if one of the files destroys it, you can easily make a new one in two seconds. And then you don't have to worry about anything. Oh yeah, let's not use that one. Let's just drag it up like that so I can still access the files. And there we go. Now, I wonder how much space this originally started with. About the same amount, actually. So, very interesting. It's not a complete installation. It's just a partial installation. There's some stuff. Unless it's just not showing properly, but... This is very interesting. So let's run item.exe. Once again, nothing seems to happen. I don't know what all these do, so... I don't know if this is a real media creation tool. I'm assuming it's a fake one, but let's find out very well could be real. I'm not entirely sure. Uh-oh. The screen went black. Oh, Explore just restarted. Oh, oh no. Yeah, that, that was definitely not real. Oh no. What, what's happening? This is why you always download the media creation tool from Microsoft's website and you don't trust um, these files that people send you. A lot of these files were files that people have sent me over the last, like, couple years. Oh no, you're about to be signed out. Oh, hello, it patched Julia. I wonder if, it, if they put that in there or if it just happens to have my name. That's your username, right? Anyways, the app's been infected with the high-grade batch virus. It's easy to remove. Oh, and it just went black, so I couldn't even finish reading it. Oh, well, I guess I could just pause the video and go back and read it, or you guys can pause and read it. I don't know if, and everything it said, but I'm guessing it crashed. Um, if I know, I'm pretty sure that file blue screens your computer, and every time the sandbox crashes, it just goes white. So, rip. 
And soon we're gonna get an air pop-up, because I've done this before as I recorded this video earlier, but the resolution got messed up. So I have to redo it. So that way you guys can see my full screen. Unexpected container crash. Well, rip. I'm gonna click OK. Windows Sandbox has stopped working. Well, that's what happens when you run bad files in your sandbox. It just simply crashes. <laughs> Believe it or not, if you actually try to restart the sandbox yourself, it actually does the same thing. So I guess it's just a glitch. I'm gonna stop and resume this. Okay, the reason why I do that is in case it blue screens, I don't want to have to re-record the entire video and lose everything again. Because since it did blue screen that one time, I want to be very careful not to lose any footage. But, this is very interesting. It's very interesting running things in the sandbox. As I said, the only downside is that you have to have Pro or Enterprise of Windows 10. So let me just do that again. Sometimes it's not perfect. Um, Windows 9 MCT. I'm guessing this is also another fake MCT. And nothing happens. Isn't that interesting? Oh, nope. This is definitely fake. I can already tell because there would not be a blinking cursor like that. And this is loading really slow. This this is not even real. Whoever made this though, good job. Setup can't continue because files are missing or corrupt. Win RT, I find that really funny. I do not think this is a real setup. I'm pretty sure someone modified this. Th this was definitely created by someone. This is not real. I mean, it kind of looks real, but there's no digital signatures to the files, so I know it's fake. Ooh, a Windows 10 simulator. Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like, even though we're already on Windows 10. Let's run a Windows 10 simulator on Windows 10. Yeah, I highly doubt it's a Windows 10 simulator. But let's find out, because maybe it is. Okay, it's frozen. Now we have a startup sound. What's happening? Oh no, what's going on? It's lagging really bad. Oh boy. Let's turn this down a little. Oh boy. This is extremely loud. Look how, look how much it's freaking out. Oh my goodness. Jeez, it's laggy like so much. It is so laggy. I'm guessing it doesn't have the display stuff proper. VMs are not even this laggy. Or maybe it's just that file's laggy. I don't know, but... Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Ooh, Windows 11 upgrade or two. I want to upgrade to Windows 11. I certainly want Windows 11. Yeah, this is totally not fake. Am I right? Yeah, let, 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 let's get Windows 11. Let, let's see how Windows 11 is. Let's run it. And we can't move this, but it's talking about Windows, Windows 11 was released. Yay, it's, it's, it's really safe. And it, you can pause and read this if you want. Um, <laughs> but Kathy and Norton are not supported. Good. Um, and it says they have 11,000 users using the OS. Yeah, I don't believe that. But let's just click upgrade. Oh no. Oh boy. You have been rickrolled. Yeah, I thought so. Obviously. It's fake. And I'm surprised there's no rickroll music playing right now. Inserts rickroll music here. Oh, wow. Okay, let, let's end this. I'm not gonna put the rickroll music for obvious reasons. But if you want to look it up, you can. But I'm sure most of you know what it is. Um, let's include some, um... VBS scripts and some batch files because let's try it instead of just exes. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. That file is actually oh, not malicious. It's interesting a touch though. Of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard. This is the fake one. Oh no. Would you like me to stay quiet? Just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, pushing press enter. Control. And enter key 
use at the same time to turn on narrator. Okay. Enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to United States. Is that right? Yes. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Now we have some important setup to do. I don't know if I should do this again. Now let's see what's new from Windows. Type your email address or phone number and then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. No. You're about to set up an on account, but I wanted you to make sure you know. Windows works way better with a Microsoft account. Do you want to do that instead? No. Type what you want to name your account. Okay. I think this one has more. And it says once again our virus protection's off because it's a sandbox. Sandboxes don't need them. So now let's run some batch files. I'm not gonna run all these batch files, but let's just run some of them. What is this? Now this made it flip out. Last time I ran this, it really flipped out. It started lagging like extremely bad when I ran this file. I'm not entirely sure what it even does, but it started giving errors. Oh, and it crashed. Oh boy. Time to make a new sandbox. I I didn't have it crash last time. It was just lagging extremely bad last time. It, it didn't actually crash though. Oh no, let's not do that. I actually know what that does. Let's show. I don't know if it'll actually work in, in this environment, but I know exactly what that does. Oh, I don't want to open my action start menu. Hold on, now it's lagging. It does this. Well, it was supposed to make multiple users, but I guess it doesn't work in this environment. It actually happened to my computer, and I still need to go and delete them all. Yeah, that, that that's pretty much what it'll do if you run it. But I never signed into them, so they never actually finished creating. We're gonna skip crash, because it just crashes it. File. Well, it can't find the drive specified. Well, well then. I guess that doesn't work. Let's run this. Hello, let's get rid of junk files. Well, that didn't work. No, I don't want to do that to C. So I'm just going to close it because it says to delete every file on C. And I know what that does. Now we're just going to run a couple more of these. I'm not going to run all of them. Fast PC version 0.1, and it created a PowerShell script. How do you run this? Run with PowerShell. And it is admin, so it runs everything as admin. Well, I just ran a random PowerShell script that a batch file created, so... Hopefully that didn't do anything bad, but whoa, it doesn't even matter because it's a it's it's a sandbox. Yeah, let's remove some Windows 10 bloat, shall we? Oh boy. What did that do? Well, it did some not so good things. Try to delete some services, which you should never do. Um It configured and disabled a ton of services. Um Let's just close this and not continue. Let's run one more. Let's run an optimizer. As I said, not all these files are bad. So, a lot of these were just files I got sent. Oh no, it's deleting more services, I believe. 
And if you look at this, it actually says Hyper-V. So this is a Hyper-V VM, basically. But it, they modified it. Quite interesting. Yeah, I want to continue. Sure. And I think that's all that does. I don't know if it, it, it... The only, I think, damaging thing that does is delete some services and that's about it. So, we ran some of those. Let's go in here. Now, I'm not going to run everything. Now, let's see. Not all these are bad. And I think it's just telling us our virus protection is off. Let's actually try this, this Windows 10 um, remove bloat thing. Let's run this with PowerShell. I actually have not tested this file yet. Ooh, it's it's got it's got a lot of stuff. This is probably not. I don't. I believe that this is actually a safe file. But this is really this is really interesting. Let, let's remove all bloat. This does a lot of stuff, and I believe it's actually not that dangerous. I believe this is actually a useful file for if you don't want all those Windows 10 apps installed, but it didn't look like it even had a ton of stuff installed. But you can see that this has a ton of options. This is actually a really creative file. For people that don't like telemetry and bloat, this is perfect. You can even disable Cortana if you want. You can... I don't know what stop edge PDF takeover is. I'm guessing when you open up um, a PDF, how it opens edge is what I'm assuming, which I don't recommend using edge. I actually heard that there may be an exploit in it, so I would try to avoid using edge. Um, which I don't even use edge. I use Firefox. I, I, I recommend people use probably Firefox or Chrome, but I, I switch to Firefox because Chrome, in my opinion, is um, just not as good. Ooh, Windows 10 Insider Preview. I actually was going to test this. I never did. Um, it was sent to me, and I never ran it, so let's just run it in this video. I never tested this. We ran into an installation error. This could be because your PC doesn't meet system requirements or your language isn't available. Well, that's what this does. I don't know what this even is. It's interesting. I mean, it's got a digital signature for Microsoft, so I believe it actually is a legitimate Microsoft file for the old insider. Um, so, oh, will make you happy. I want to be happy. Let's, let's see what this does. Oh, no. It, it I think it tries to delete your Windows updates, which you should never do because updates are for security reasons. So that's not good. Now... Let's actually get into more of the files. Um, let's get into more of the fi the other files instead. Like, let's go in these folders. So, I don't know what all this stuff does. I don't even know if I was even in here. Um, but, let's try to run some of these. Like, let's see what Windows application.exe is. It looks like this is still running. Maybe not. Actually, it says it finished, so I can actually... Yeah, let's to get rid of Cortana. And let's stop this edge whatever. Oh, it just makes it... It's not your default PDF. Remove bloatware, edge keys. Let's do that, too. Um, I'm letting that run while I'm doing other things. The Rust application, you must have the framework. Oh, this is definitely fake. I think I know what this does. Oh, no. I know what this does. I know exactly what it does, and it's creepy. Yeah, I told you, it's it, it's Ben, and it starts laughing and crap. Yeah, that is just creepy. Yeah, I know that because I recorded this video earlier. Ooh, let's run a bat with my name in it. Oh. Well, isn't that creepy? Let's close that because I think that could have been an IP grabber. So, just in case, I close the sandbox. 
So let's reopen the sandbox because it was trying to take me to a website and I don't like that. Thank God it never loaded anything because even though that, that these are really old files so those links could have been dead. But just to be on the safe side, I closed the sandbox because you got to be careful exactly what you run. If it's a bat, I would actually edit the bat because you could, you could go and edit bat files. Oh, it was just a YouTube link. Um... I don't know what video that is, but if you want to try to go to it and see what it is, you can. Um, so it wasn't an IP grabber, but you should still always be careful to see what a bat does before running it. I don't know what this VBS is, but let's find out. It's nothing. Uh oh, it's making sounds, I didn't do that. Um, for Julia.exe. Well, this might. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Ooh. Virus. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. You have a virus. No. And then it's going to open a ton of crap. And then it crashes, so quit. I think this does RD in one of them, so... I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, is it still opening stuff? It is. Oh no, no, it's still spamming. Um, it's spamming a ton of folders now. It's like opening the Windows folder, the System32 folder. All kinds of crap. Let's just get out of that. All right, let's let's go back into some more of these. So let's see what bcd.exe is. Nothing so far, and still nothing. Last time I ran this, it did something. But nothing's happening this time. Yeah, it tried to create some files, is what it tries to do. There it goes. Apparently this file just puts a bunch of random pictures on your desktop. So, I'm guessing they're just memes or something. I really don't know. BCD deleter. Yeah, let's delete our BCD. Yeah, it tried to do, I think, VCD edit delete current, but it failed. So my guess is either A, the BCD already got deleted, or B, yeah, this is probably what BCD.exe did. It probably deleted the BCD already. Game.exe. Can't run. Let's do whatever this is. I don't know what this is some random exe and it's just popping up some messages oh no it kind of deleted some things oh well it's a sandbox it doesn't really ma oh and I think we got silent RD well rip now task manager has been disabled by one of the files. I don't know which one because I ran several. Um, and I think we're getting some notifications or trying to. Um, ooh, what's this? Let's fix our computer. Let's let, let, let's fix our computer because it's destroyed. Not responsible for damage. Yeah, we know. Initializing scan. Why do I feel like it's going to do tree? Why do I feel like it's going to do tree? Sure, I'll delete it. And it tries to delete a system file. I think it just deletes random files in system 32. Okay, that is really annoying. Um, let's see what other stuff we're going to run and then we'll end the video. So... I know I, I ran a ton more, um, let's see what this is, I don't remember every single one I ran.
but we're just testing out the sandbox. Let's just close it and make a new one because I think that one is destroyed. Let's see how long this has been going. Yeah, I think we're going to end the video very soon. Um, we'll run a couple more and then we'll stop it so that way we're not doing this too much. Um, let's try Mysterious. Um, it was right here. I actually ran this. It's not malicious, I don't think. Oh, it opened up a notepad. What's gonna happen? Is it gonna type something? Yep. It typed some it typed something. And now it's opening a YouTube link. Let's close it. Um let's close its document. I'm guessing it's gonna do more than that. Um while that's running. Ooh, what's I wonder what no dot bad is. More YouTube links. And it opens System Restore. I don't know if that was this or if that was the other file. This says not memes. I don't. And before it is memes, I'm gonna laugh. But it says not memes, but is it memes? Virus, okay. If this is actually memes, I'm gonna laugh. Impossibra, okay. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. It's Rick rolling us! Oh my, it's Rick rolling us with the Rick roll lyrics. Yep. I just want to tell That's what Rick roll is. Gotta make you oh no, it's Rick rolling us. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Let's do this. Never gonna make you cry. That's a TTS file, but Never we're gonna, gonna wait till that's e over. Never Let's actually end this in Task Manager. Manager. It's Rick rolling us. We've known each other for so long. How do we end this? Your heart's been aching, but you're too shy to Okay, we gotta end this somehow. Inside. This is you annoying. If it's, if it's gonna on. just Rick roll us we like over and over. Which it very well might. I think it's this. Okay, it was. Let's run this. Welcome to TDS Arsrui, aka System Restore. And then it just quits. Lovely. Um, I think that was the wrong one. Um, let's see. We have the TTS BCD deleter and this other TTS. Hello, Electronic Wiz One. What would you rather run or do? RD or format backups or MAMZ or throw PC out window? Okay. As you guys could see, these files are doing interesting things. Um. I'm not gonna run too many more of these though. So let's see. Wireless.exe. Let's also run this. And this. Welcome to the TDS BCD deleter. Close out now if you do not want to kill your computer. Your PC. Uh oh. Will be. Super dead. Well, unless you have your Windows disk. Get that now. Okay, okay. IT was a joke. IT was a joke. <laughs> this program didn't actually run MAMZ, format your backup drive, or run silent RD. Hello, Electronic Wiz 1. It's doing multiple things this now. This should have the administrator option in the app manifest already, so let's go. What would you rather run or do? I think RD it's doing two TTSs at once. That is interesting. Destruction in three. Two. One. Enjoy the death of your PC. If you want to reboot, click yes. Let's do awesomefile.exe. 
or is it frozen? Our sandbox is go. not dead yet. I thought it was dead. I was gonna close and reopen it, but maybe it's just frozen. Okay, okay. IT was a joke. IT was a joke. I think it's okay. You know this what? Let's do this because it kept doing like TTS over and over. So. Pretty much, guys, this is Windows Sandbox. Um, I'll run two more files out of here. I feel like the other video was better, but unfortunately I couldn't use that video for reasons because the resolution was messed up. So for reasons, awesome file. That is not nice. Let's just get rid of that. Um, let's see, what else is there? I have so many things open, and I think that's my problem. Run as admin for best results. Okay, let's just run this file. I don't care what it does. Okay, done. RD fixer. Well, probably RD. But maybe not. Okay, then. There is another file, I think. Let's see, what else should I run? For Julia that votes her to RD. Okay, let's run this. Because it will probably RD. Welcome to Silent RD, TBS edition. Oh, rip, this Three VM's dead. This VM's dead. Setting program name. Let's run this one. Setting arguments. Hiding program from view after running. Your PC will be dead soon. Five seconds until your PC is dead. Four seconds until your PC is dead. This is a parody of System Restore. Three seconds until your PC is dead. Two seconds until your PC is dead. One seconds until your PC is dead. Enjoy the slow, painful, and silent death of your PC. Execute silent RD. No. Ooh, let's get a mini PC fix. Maybe it'll help us with our to get rid of the silent RD. Let's see if that helps us any bit. Now, I'm, I'm sure there's some more stuff in here, but I'm not sure. Do, I think we ran... Oh, Windows 11 Media Creation Tool? Now, once the sandbox is dead, we're going to be done with the sandbox. Ooh, I can barely read that, but sure. Oh, and it quit. So as you guys can see, I'm not damaging my computer. All I'm doing is running files in this, and it's not messing up my computer. Uh-oh. And it RDs, or Dells. Now let's just do that. And guys, that is it. So if you actually try to restart the sandbox, which I will show you, there's actually one more file that I found interested in, in, in here, which I will copy. Um, I think it was, I'll do one more, and I found it kind of interesting. It wasn't there. I think it was this Windows 9 thing. And it says, type the name for the, there was another one that said, why do you want Windows 9? But let's just type a ton of gibberish here. And then it just says it can't be started, it was some glitch. But there was one of these files and it said, it said like, why do you want Windows 9 or something? And I think that's just on a loop, so I'm not even gonna try to close that. I don't know where it is. I think, well there's a Windows 11 version. Type Windows 11 to continue. 
and then it just doesn't work. There was another one in here that said um, Windows 9, and it said, type why you want Windows 9 to continue, and I typed because 7, 8, 9, and then it just didn't work. It was really weird. I'm, I, I don't remember, it's not any of these, because I tried and it didn't seem to work. But a lot of these files are super old. Um, I have a ton of stuff. Some of them have more than others. And they're all over the place. They're not combined. Some of them are duplicates. So that's why I'm not entirely sure what's what. But I have a lot of stuff. They all look the same. Maybe I mounted the same one. No, I think they're different, but pretty much. Hold on one minute. Alright guys, I'm back. This video ended up being way longer than the other one. I'm sorry about this. I feel like the other one was better, but let's end it off with one. If you're insane, run as admin. I am very insane, so let's do it. Well, it did exactly what the first file did in the video. Good job. It looks exactly the same. So, I guess we started off with the same thing and ended off with the same thing. Well, isn't that great? So, if you try to restart this, which I now can't because it's bricked. So, I'm just going to have to close and reopen it and show you. It's actually really funny. Um, if you try to do that, it literally crashes. So, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm st I just got to make sure we record. Um, I don't want to do that. Um, so, it's funny because if you try to restart it, it actually crashes it. So, if I try to do this, it goes black, then it goes white, and then it just, it gives an error. And I find it really, I find it really funny, actually. But guys, this is Windows Sandbox. This is me testing random files in it. And you guys can try this out if you want, but you have to have Insider and you have to have Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. So maybe doing this on another computer, putting Insider on one of your other computers if it's compatible. See, it says unexpected container crash. Um, and then it just says it stopped working, so if you restart the sandbox, it crashes. So, pretty much, let's just end all this or get rid of all this. But pretty much that's all we have for the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. And you guys can try it out if you want. Let me know if you guys tried it and how it was. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Sorry for the long video and sorry for the lack of uploads. I've had a lot going on lately and now that I'm starting college back up soon. Um, I don't know how often I'll make videos. But um, any other things you guys would like to see, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching this, and bye-bye for now.